Hey, what's up there, everybody? This is Thavius Beck, and I'm back with another course to discuss some of the latest note effects in Bitwig. Bitwig is a continuously evolving DAW, and uh, every time I turn around, there's some new stuff added, which I'm very, very happy about. Now there are a slew of new note effects that allow you to take advantage of incoming MIDI notes uh, or notes before they're sent to a device in a number of very, very cool ways. So we're going to check out some of these new devices. We're also going to look at a few combinations that can be very interesting. Uh, and hopefully, after all of this, you'll have some new ways to play around with the notes that you're sending to the various instruments that you want to use. In the first example, I want to talk about a very simple device to take advantage of, uh, but one that has a lot of implications when you're using it. So right now, I have a very simple project set up. I only have one clip here, and uh, I have a drum machine on this track. This drum machine contains four drum synths, uh, the E-kick, E-snare, E-clap, and the E-hat, and I'm actually only using three of these sounds. I've also added an expressions modulator, and I'll discuss why in just a second, but let's just put this away for now. Let's listen to this very simple beat. All right, I think you get the point. Very simple one bar beat. It just repeats. There's no fancy stuff going on inside of the clip. Uh, it's very basic, very repetitive. So what I wanna do is I wanna use a note effect uh, just to add a little bit of randomization to some of the parameters in my drum machine. And thankfully, we have a note effect that does just that. Now, the way the drum machine is set up, I could add a note effect before the individual sounds here, but I want this note effect to affect all the notes being sent to my drum machine, and therefore, it'll affect all the sounds. So I'm gonna place this note effect right before the drum machine. I can hit plus here. The browser takes me to the note effects, and I'm gonna find a note effect called randomize, which is right here. And this is great, because it's very straightforward. Uh, you have six different knobs here. You can enable these by simply clicking on the title right there, and then you can tell if it's enabled because it'll be orange. Uh, and this will add randomization to whatever uh, specific parameter that is selected. Now we see there's pitch, timbre, pan, gain, pressure, and velocity. And velocity right now is activated by default. So if I play this, we're gonna notice the velocity of these sounds will be uh, slightly random. Uh, but in a bit, you're gonna understand why I added this expressions modulator. So hold on a second. All right, so we can see that velocity is having some sort of impact on my drum sounds, uh, but I can also utilize some other expression controls. Uh, in this case, timbre and pressure would probably be pretty useful, uh, and I already have an expressions modulator nested within this device, uh, which allows me to take advantage of pressure and timbre in some different ways. So let's do something that'll be really obvious. If I go to the hi-hat sound here, maybe we can make it so that uh, pressure will modulate the decay time of the hat, and uh, let's make it so that the timbre, maybe we'll modulate the attack, so we can get this to sound almost like a shaker a bit. Uh, we can do something similar with the snare. Maybe timbre will modulate the decay of the noise. I think that's the main portion of the sound right now. And maybe pressure uh, will increase the decay of the oscillator and the volume of the oscillator. All right, let's hear how all of this sounds. So I'll play the drums. We're not gonna hear the impact of pressure or timbre until we click to enable these. There we go. Now, what's nice about this too is the velocity is having a pretty big impact, but this doesn't have to impact the volume of my sound if I simply go into these drum synths and just reduce the velocity sensitivity, and then velocity will primarily impact whatever I've mapped it to. So just a very quick uh, introduction into some of the new note effects. Randomize is a great tool to use either on its own or in tandem with other things uh, such as the expressions modulator.